So the first step in creating a sequence that you can save and reuse for later is to of course create the sequence initially which I've done here. So I've got um, uh, this video just happens to be the background here and then I've got my three call outs because I've got three different uh, titles going on and then of course I've got a, a, a small audio track. And so this is an op the opening sequence I use in all of my uh, tutorials. So all we have to do right now is just simply grab this handle here and slide it across to select the entire sequence and then you can, uh, and let's click back over to library. Uh, don't have to but I just prefer that we be right there now. And then just right click here and choose add to library and you can see it scroll down to the bottom of the library and we're just going to call it test. And now we can go down here and let's just delete everything because it's all in the library already. So now I've got one item sitting here in my library amongst everything else and I can just drag this and drop it down here and there is my opening sequence. Now obviously you can do the same thing for your ending sequence. So let's go ahead and get rid of this again. Cut this uh, out. Okay. So here's our ending sequence that I went ahead and set up. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go over here. Oops, grab the wrong one. Grab the little handle and let's select it. Right click and click Add to Library. And we'll give it a name and uh, let's call it Test Ending. How's that? Alrighty, and so let's go ahead and delete this and let's put it all together. So let's grab our opening, drag and drop it in here and then we'll grab, let's grab a clip, add that to the timeline. So we'll grab the ending and drop that in and there we go and of course I can go ahead, uh, you can see that I've got some overlap going on here and that the over here the audio is longer than the title so that's because I got to put my transitions in. So before I put transi transitions in, I'll just click the audio uh, lock button and we'll go to um, transitions and I like to use the uh, flip. There it is. So we're going to drag that in right here and then we'll drag it in for this one and go back to the uh, library so we can see our timeline. And so now we can just go ahead and unlock our audio and slide this over to where we want it and it's already lined up over here and if we click to watch it play we're all set ready to go and of course I would normally go in here and start to edit my clip in here and uh, you're free to do so um, but everything all of your pieces are in place Here's a little bonus uh, tidbit. You're probably wondering um, how Camtasia stores or, or saves the sequences. Well, you can find them in the Camtasia library. So in this, in my case, in Windows uh, 7, they're under Program Data, TechSmith, Camtasia, Studio, uh, slash library. And if I look through here, I'm not going to find any sequence that's actually named um, as I have named it within the Camtasia library over here. Uh, so a good idea, a lot of, what I like to do is go in and after I create one of these sequences and it's always going to be the last uh, sequence in the list here and it's, and it's dated. So um, for instance this one here is my opening sequence that was created way back in July. And so there's all the components for that and if I went into the next one there was the ending sequence. So that's where it's all stored. So if you're concerned about backing up your uh, sequences and that, um, uh, to move to another computer or something, you want to make sure that you grab these assets. So all of Camtasia's library items are actually stored in uh, this file right here. Um, so if we open that up and take a peek at it, you can see right here is where I have my beginning sequence, uh, Captain Ken beginning sequence, and there is a relation that's been created between the name I gave it right here and the actual uh, library sequence name which is 
right here and it gives us an ending as asset project. So all I did is open this up, did a search for the name that I gave it, I was able to find it. Many of you may be thinking it sure would be nice to have these folders, these sequence folders names, have more meaningful names. Well, the good news is you can. First thing you want to do is make sure that Camtasia is closed. And it's a pretty simple process of just renaming anything that has this name with the name that you want it to be called. So uh, the simple way would be is we could go into the file here and just change the name here. All that would do is change the library name as it appears in the list, but we want to actually change that possibly as well as, more importantly, the actual folder name here. So to change the folder name, let's just do a right click and rename, or we can just hit F2 and just give it whatever name we want. So I like to start mine with uh, SEQ for sequence, and we'll call this Captain Ken um, underscore, and this is the ending. And so there you go, we've renamed that and it's reordered itself here. Um, and then we're just going to go into, I'm going to uh, F2 again to copy the name. And then we'll double click and go into the folder. And you can see we have an asset file here. And all we have to do is rename this asset file. So once again, I'm going to hit F2 and I'm just going to control V to paste and we'll change the name to match the folder name and then we'll go ahead and back out and then let's go to the uh, XML file and let's do the same thing here so we're just going to replace anywhere where it has this sequence and this long number and replace that with our new name and get rid of that there we go and then we can even go over here and change the name as it appears in the library. So we're going to change this to SEQ, basically the same thing. Um, and then, as you might have guessed, we'll go ahead and do our um, beginning sequence as well. So that one was this one here. So we'll change this. I'm just going to paste and we'll just rename that and then we'll go inside of that folder and change this asset name and backspace over that and we wanted to call this begin and we'll back out of that and then we'll go over here to the XML file and we have to also also change it here so we'll go ahead and highlight that and paste change the end to begin and do well, actually, let's go ahead and copy this. It'll save us a little typing. So copy that. And so we're going to rename the folder. And then we're going to rename the actual name of the asset. There we go. And then we'll control S to save. Or when you hit X, it'll prompt you, do you want to save? And you would say yes. So you can see we have two folders here. Let's uh, scroll over. So there's my beginning and my ending sequence. And we'll go ahead and open up uh, Camtasia. And let's switch over to our library. And we'll scroll down. And here you can see our sequences that renamed as we did in the XML file. So let's go ahead and test it. So let's grab the beginning one and drag it down. And we got no errors or anything. We go ahead and play, and it plays out just fine. And of course, um, we'll just go ahead and undo. And let's test the ending. Drag and drop that into place, and that one works just perfectly as well.